Rated M for Mature. At Telltale, when we're looking for a new IP to take on and turn into a game, the first thing we always ask is, is this a really rich story world, and are there awesome characters? So with The Walking Dead, I think players really sort of uh, latched on to the strong storytelling and, and really awesome characters, and that's really the reason why we were so interested in Fables in the first place. Fables comic book series is written by Bill Willingham. It's been running for the past 10 years with uh, DC Vertigo Comics. The Vertigo imprint has always been a place for very mature titles. Sandman, Transmetropolitan, Preacher, and Fables firmly fits in that group of very sophisticated content, very mature content, and definitely not uh, comics for kids. It's wildly popular. It's been picking up awards for like the 10 plus years it's been around. I'm the woodsman. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. Fable Town is a place in Manhattan. Uh, where all of the fables who've been exiled from their homelands, at least most of the fables, live. And it's kind of hidden from our world, which they describe as the mundane world. They're wearing these things called glamours, which is basically magic to make yourself look like a human. Big B! Oh no, I don't look human. I'm looking at a three-foot toad. I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. The basic story of The Wolf Among Us is centering around Bigby Wolf, Sheriff of Fable Town. He is responsible for the well-being of all these fables who can't seek help from the police force outside. The whole story is kicked off with a, a murder that happens. Bigby kind of takes it upon himself to go out and investigate before word gets out and people get really panicked. Tell me you've been doing something. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. We catch up with Bigby at a point in his life when he's trying to put the, the darkness and the sort of the events of his past behind him. The big bad wolf is not just a guy who blew down a, a pig's house. He's someone who terrorized these fables and they hate him. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. When he was back in the homelands, he was always in this wolf form and hunted and killed and ate other fables. And that's why it's so strange that he's the sheriff of Fable Town because he's gone from the hunter of fables to effectively the protector of fables. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Bigby isn't actually a werewolf. People might think that he is, but he's actually a wolf. He's a wolf in the form of a man. As far as the game goes, it means that you know, you're know you moving around in the mundane world in this human form, but this beast is always inside of you. What's the matter, Big B? Tempted to take a bite? I guess those days are behind you. Come on out, you dog! A lot of the game is about the control of power. When are you going to wolf out? Or when are you gonna you know, grab someone by the, by the collar? Like, those moments need to be chosen very carefully. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit, Toad, and I think we reached it 10 minutes ago. We want players to feel the power that Bigby has within him. It was really important for us to be able to really capture that, that essence of what it's, what it's like to be this powerful creature. Get out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, I'm gonna break your face. Is that a fact? You gotta calm down. <laughs> You're really trying to craft Big B Wolf's persona in this community. Whereas in, in Walking Dead, it was a lot more about, you know, do characters trust me or not? Well, where to first? The decisions that you make will affect the story that you experience. Not only that, will affect, as part of that story, how other characters within the game will treat you. I feel like we've met before. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. My first reading of the Fables comics, I immediately realized how great these relationships are. They're complicated, they're adult. That is, I think, one of the things we do really well here too, which is complex relationships with characters who are deep and fleshed out and giving the player the control to say, okay, what would you do? What if? 